So in the last video, we finished working on our backend with Golang and on this one, we are going to start building our mobile app. We are going to use Expo to do that. So make sure you go to docs.expo.dev and just copy the quick start command. And let's install Expo on our machine. Now that we have Expo installed, let's just try to run the app to make sure we can and everything is working fine. I'm gonna run that on iOS simulator. Now the app is bundling. All right, so everything seems to be working fine. So let's just go ahead in here and, and stop everything. I wanna start by doing kind of a cleanup. We don't need all of the things that come by default from Expo. So let's start by removing from here all of these components and also the test folder. Let's remove those. Let's only leave in here the tab bar icon, the constants, let's remove that, the hooks as well, and delete. Let's remove the assets too, we don't need that. And let's go to app and let's remove the tabs, HTML and not found. So basically, let's do a cleanup and only leave app layout.tsx components navigation tab bar icon. Now what I want to do is basically start setting up our navigation. We're not going to start doing things like creating components and, and styling everything. We are going to do that in the next lesson probably. Uh, let's just focus on having all of the screens showing up on the, on the app. Everything just set up to start doing all of the extra customizations and the important logic. So in here inside of app we want to, oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that Expo uses file-based routing. If you are not familiar with that, make sure you go to uh, xdocs.expo.dev and you can go to this tab in here, navigation, file-based routing. The Expo documentation is amazing. I mean, if you have any doubts on how this works and how to structure your, your screens and routing in general. So let's go in here and inside of app, we also want to have Let's say we want to have a, a screen that's gonna be for when users are not authenticated, which is the login screen. And in here, we want to create a folder because we want to group routes in here. And this is gonna be for the users when they are authenticated. And let's just say outfit. All right, so inside of outfit, we also need a layout. So let's say layout. TSX and also inside of Alfred we need a new folder in here because we want to have our tabs. If you remember from the first video of this course, we were doing the navigation using the bottom tabs. So that's basically how we are going to display the bottom tabs. They are going to be all inside of a layout that's going to be inside of the tabs. So let's inside of tabs, let's say layout.tsx we are going to have multiple screens for, for example, events because we are going to have, for example, the all of the events available, which is going to be the events screen. And then we are going to have a view for when we want to create an event and when we want to update the event. So that's the main idea in here. All right. So events and the same thing applies for tickets. So let's say tickets. And also here we want the scan ticket. We also want the settings, which in reality is gonna be just a button to log out. All right, so when it comes to the events, we want a couple of things in here. We obviously want the layout. We also want an index. Let's create in here index. And we also want a screen, which is gonna be the new tsx which is basically the screen where we are going to create new events and here when we go to a to an existing event the url is going to be basically event and we want to have access to that event id so we can do this let's just close these files in here they are opening all the time let's close this as well i'm not going to use this terminal to create this all right so for the tickets we want the index we want the layout as well. So let's say layout in here, a new folder, it's gonna be ticket to have access to the ticket ID, which is basically the page that's gonna show the, the QR code. 
All right, so we have all of the navigation that we are going to use for this app. Let's start by just creating stuff inside of the files because they are just empty right now. So let's say in here, export default function logging. And for now, this is just gonna return nothing. And for our root layout in here, which was basically what we left from cleaning, from doing the cleanup, we have a couple of things in here that we absolutely don't need. So let's get just rid of this, all of this logic in here. I want to call this actually just root and we don't need anything. All right, in here, what I wanna return is actually, I wanna have in here a status bar and the style is gonna be dark. And in here, let's import status bar from expo. Expo is status bar. And in here, in the next lessons, we are going to actually have an authentication provider. Let's not do this right now, but let's just leave a comment in here. Then when we are authenticated, we just want to return everything in the navigation. So let's say slot in here and let's import that slot from expert router right so that's good for this file let's now go to the layout which is under the alfred screens group let's export default function app layout Oops, app layout and in here we are going to actually check check from context if user is logged in we don't have the implemented so let's just say in here is logged in is true all right and if in the future obviously if it's logged in is false what we want to do is to redirect the users to href login we are going to send them to this file and if they are actually authenticated let's just return the stack from expert router and in here let's add some options let's say the header shown is false just so we don't see like app layout displayed on, on the screen which is ugly so let's add something on the settings export default function settings screen and in here let's just return nothing for now obviously all right so for the tabs which is app outfit tabs layout let's do export default function tab layout and we want to have tabs in here let's create an array of tabs and each of the tabs will have a show for it's basically controlling permissions and in here the name the name of the file which is basically the name of the routing is gonna be event which is our events in here and the display name we want to have a display name in here because we don't want to just put on the screen events like that because it's not good we want a better display name Let's say just events. The icon is gonna be calendar, and we want to pass some custom options in here. And let's say that the header shown is false. So let's copy this and paste that three more times. And now, what we want to do in here, ticket. And in here, we want to say on the display name on the bottom navigation my ticket and here the icon is gonna be ticket for the scan ticket we want to say scan ticket for the icon let's say scan and we do want to show the header so for the settings let's do this settings oops, settings it's gonna be just a cog the icon and we also want to show the header All right so let's now render those tabs let's return tabs and let's loop through all of our tabs and for each of the tab let's return tabs to screen something closing is better so this is gonna have a key which is tab tab name also a name and we want in here options so let's just give it in here all of the options that we have which is this one and then let's give some extra options so let's see header header title is gonna be 
the display name oh, not this obviously tap the display name the href which basically is gonna control if that tab is visible or not on the app so we are not going to use that for now because we don't have any anything done for the users but let's just define this in here let's say tab dot tab dot show for includes and then on the next lessons we will finish this okay so let's say here that the tab bar label is gonna be a function which has access to focused and this is gonna return a component let's say here text let's get that from react native for the text let's say tab the display name and here let's give it some styles let's say that the color if it's focused it's gonna be black otherwise it's gonna be just gray and for the font size let's say just 12 all right so let's give it another component in here which is the tab bar icon which is the one that we left in here after we did some cleanup let's say that the tab bar icon let's do the same we did before focused which is gonna return a component and this is gonna be the tab bar icon the name in here is gonna be tab the icon which is the name of the icon and this needs to be as component props with the generic type of ionicons and from ionicons we want the name so typescript is happy now and for the color let's say if it's focused then it's gonna be black else it's gonna be gray that's all we have to do right now for this tab layout let's keep going with the other screens so i forgot in here to actually add the layout for the scan screen so let's add that here scan ticket layout let's export default function scan ticket screen and for now let's just return nothing let's close this for the tickets inside of index let's export default function oops function tickets screen and let's return in here for now nothing let's just copy this so for the layout we want to import in here stack from export router and let's in here uh, it's gonna be a bit different but let's say that this is gonna be tickets tickets layout and what we want to return in here is actually a stack and in here we want to do the following stack the screen and the name in here is gonna be index which is this one and let's duplicate this in here we also want to have the screen ticket id and let's give it some options in here screen options let's say that the header back title is gonna be tickets all right so let's just copy this let's go to the to the events on the layout of the events let's paste let's just change this to be events and in here let's change this to events we have the index we also want to have the new which is the screen that we are going to use to create new events and in here this is gonna be just event which is the event page all right so back to tickets in here export default function ticket screen ticket detail screen and in here let's return nothing for now let's now go to events new let's say in here just new event and for the index let's say that this is the event screen and for the event page let's say that this is gonna be instead of ticket event detail screen so let's maybe now try to run and see what we get let's run we have an issue in here anyways i don't think this is important let's let's just run the app on ios all right so this is not working and i think that's because we didn't do the cleanup 100 percent let's remove this we don't need this scripts in here let's now try again 
So that's gonna work now, I guess. All right, so that's working and we will obviously change this in here, but let's not bother with this right now. So we have all of our tabs in here working fine. We have our navigation place and that looks good. So that's it for today, guys. On the next one, we are going to build our kind of a UI library, minimal UI library. So see you on the next one. Bye-bye.